Woo! We did it! Yeah! Welcome back to our channel, you guys. My name is Kristen Forgione. I am the founder, principal designer, and creative director of The Lifestyle Co. And this is... Kylie Ray Seberg, the senior design director and lead designer on this project, the Always On Vacay Proj. And if any of our room reveals will show you why this is called Always On Vacay, it's this one. Mm -hmm. This video, we are going to show you the family den or game room, call it either, and then the entire outdoor living area in the backyard, which is impeccable and immaculate and, and incredible. And huge. And huge, and all the things. And like an entertainer's paradise, like let's party. Yeah. It seems silly that there's only two, like five of us here, because we need a whole crew to, to truly break it in, like our clients have been doing. If you're new here, um, this is a custom home that we have been working on. We actually finished the project back in November of 2021 and are now photographing it here May of 2022. So our clients have been living here for six months, enjoying every single square inch of it. And we kicked them out. They so graciously let us come back to the space, restyle it, get it photo and video ready for you so that we could give you a quick tour of these beautiful spaces. Okay, so we've got Kylie Ray behind the bar. Serving, are you serving drinks? What do you want? I know, maybe a little rosé? Yeah. We're, we're big rosé people. <laughs> but can you even believe this nonsense? Like, look at this. This indoor-outdoor bar moment. I'm inside. Yes. <laughs> He's outside. Oh. <laughs> but God, it's so beautiful. From the second we started designing this, we knew we wanted a focal moment behind the bar, which we were able to achieve with tile, that big, chunky, thick grout line. Sconces up there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vanna. Um, Sconces up there, it just looks amazing. And then on, in the foreground here, so the outside, we have the knee space under this hanging swing situation, chair situation, um, with a printed tile from Clay Tile. It's hard sometimes to figure out where to pull back and where to go forward in design choices. And in this space, we just felt like it was so playful. We had like this Cabo vibe out here. Again, why we call it always on vacay. And I think that this tile really helped showcase that. Um, so you've got these beautiful windows that are indoor, outdoor, plenty of opportunity for adults to sit here, kids. What do you have back there from an appliance standpoint? From an appliance standpoint, we are stocked. So <laughs> <laughs> we have not one, but two beverage fridges. So you always have a drink in hand. We've got an ice maker right here that has cocktail ice. Um, our clients requested cocktail ice, not nugget ice here um, because they didn't want their ice to melt when they're making drinks, which makes sense. Um, then we've got our nice little bar sink right here. Um, pull out trash. We fully customize this. You can tell it's not the biggest space, um, especially with it being sort of a U shape. So we wanted to make sure that every single square inch of it had use and had function. So we've got all the marks in here. And then we've also got plenty of drawers for storage, for cups, for glasses, all the things. We have a little snack station over there as well. So when the windows are open and the kids and the adults are swimming, you can run up here and get served. Get served. And then if you come through this way, this corner was a very impactful corner for our clients when we were going through the architecture phase. They wanted an indoor outdoor feel. We knew immediately that we would put a game table here. So this is a spot that you can have a puzzle out. You can of course play board games. Um, we wanted it to feel like it was kind of the center, if you will, of the indoor outdoor space. So this is a huge room. Um, we've got, how, do you know how big this TV is? I think it's 85. 85. I think so too, I 85 inches 85. here, huge sectional chairs to hang out, plenty of floor space, a shuffleboard table um, that gets a ton of use, vintage Pac-Man, a uh, seating area for the other side of the bar that you probably haven't seen yet that Kylie was just at serving me with. Um, what the heck do we do with a wall this size? Mm -hmm. So this wall, as I wanna say, it's over 250 inches long. Huge. It's ginormous, like, so. Can you hear me over there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> We, not struggled, kind of yeah, struggled with what to do. In a house this size, you have so many moments, as we like to say, moments, um, <laughs> moments. And you can only do so many things so many times. And we kind of used our, a, lot. A, a lot of different wall treatments, ceiling treatments um, in other places. And 
because we have the tile focal wall in the bar over there and the printed tile and the knee space over there, we wanted this to not compete but to complement. But it's such a large wall that we needed something that was impactful. So we stumbled on this wallpaper from Mitchell Black and it just, we knew right away. We literally saw it and we're like, that's it, that's and the one. Truly, one of the reasons why is look at the scale. Like this circle is like six by six. It's yeah, the size it's like of my hand. hand. <laughs> so if you're gonna wallpaper a big wall, you have to pay attention to what's called the repeat pattern on wallpaper. So the repeat pattern on this wallpaper is really big. It's big, tall, and it's big, wide. And so that's what allows it to look so grand in a, on a wall this big. If we would have picked wallpaper that would have had a small repeat pattern, like even 12 inches, which, which seems pretty big, but in this case, this is much larger, um, it would have made the wall feel really choppy and busy, and busy right, which we didn't want. Yeah, and kind of just fall away. Yeah. You know? This is like stands out and really is bold. Yeah. but also plays well with everything else. Right, and this client in particular, her aesthetic isn't super bold. You can, if you watch the rest of the videos, you can feel that the home is very balanced. It's got a lot of androgynous elements to it. Um, this family is a husband and wife, and then there are three boys. So um, this space is definitely used more kind of, I'd say, in that masculine tense, just because it's where they watch watch football games, and um, at least for them, right, right. and soccer, and, and they've always got a house full of boys. So we wanted to make sure that it felt somewhat um, well-rounded, right, in both a, ma a masculine and a feminine feel. So the space is just incredible. Behind us, which you won't get to see, um, as I mentioned, our clients have let us in here just for a little peek, are the three boys' rooms, and this kind of occupies their wings. So they get to walk through the space into their rooms. We've got um, Carson and Landon and Grayson, and all three of them have these just like beautiful, beautiful, no. Um, masculine, masculine, amazing rooms that they can lay their heads in. And like I said, they get to also enjoy this space that has that indoor auto feel. So we also want to show you the exterior, right? So come with us that way. The entire synergy of this home revolves around indoor outdoor living. And if you guys saw the great room tour or room reveal, um, we talked more about the great room space, but we didn't quite get to show you how just massive and grand this space is when these doors are open. So, I mean, how many people could you have here for a party? So many. Of tons. Uh, hundreds, yeah. right? Yeah, Probably. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, this family of five enjoys this space so much. So opposite where we have the indoor living space, lounging space, we have the outdoor lounging space. Um, and Kai, when you were designing this, tell me a little bit about how you came up with like this huge oversized ottoman and, and this furniture footprint. Well, because the two furniture footprints are right next to each other, it's important to not duplicate. Um, so to make them a little different. So inside the great room, um, we had a, sofa, a long sofa, another sofa, and two chairs. And in here, we took advantage of getting a sectional. So this is more cozy lounge seating, getting a lot of butts in. Yeah. Um, we've got the TV up there above the fireplace. All around, just super comfortable. You'll see this custom ottoman that we had made in the center. That is like 72 inches long, um, which as we're referencing sizes, that's a dining table. Mm -hmm. So it's made in outdoor fabric. Um, it can withstand the elements as long as we cover it while we're not using it. Yep. <laughs> Covers only work when they're on. <laughs> Disclaimer. Yep. Yes, uh, um, and then we chose to complement in the textiles um, with the same fabric. So you'll notice that same subtle stripe detail throughout the pillows and the ottoman. Um, throughout, we've got a big outdoor rug that grounds the space and more of like a playful pattern mm -hmm. that kind of tells them that you're outdoors. Yeah. Um, and then the chairs over here have a beautiful back detail that you can see from the pool and I think just add to the overall resort hotel yeah. vibes. Vacation vibes. Cabo vibes. <laughs> Okay, so now we're here in the sunken fire pit moment area. And truly, this was 100% the brainchild of our client. Yes. The landscape design was done. And as she started seeing it come together, she said, you know what? I want a sunken fire pit area that you can roll up to the spa. If someone's in the spa, I can sit there, which is over on that side. Or I can sit here and have the fire pit vibes, but also be super comfortable. So that's kind of how this came to be. It truly feels like you're at a resort. It really does. Like this is something you would see at a resort and be like, wow, that's so cool. And I think to build that in to your home is really unique. And the fact that she thought about that with enough time, yeah. um, we've yeah. got to give her credit for that Absolutely. for sure. And let's pretend it's not like 110 and it's like fall vibes. We do have a little breeze though. Yeah. So. 
So that's really nice. But then if you walk this way, we will show you the pool. So the pool is definitely a focal point here. Um, it really guides you out into this space. And for watercolor, watercolor is a big thing for us. We're always talking about watercolor. Um, and this client, she didn't want quite black water, um, but she wanted, and by black water, I mean black bottom so that the water feels like, uh, really lagoon-like. She wanted like some place between um, what, can and like, Cuomo? Yeah. <laughs> Cuomo? Cuomo? Yeah. Thank you. Cuomo. Thank you. Cuomo. Um, and that's kind of where we ended up. So yeah. um, do you remember what the waterline tile is? Um, the waterline tile is from, <laughs> which is very important when you're choosing your pool tile. Friends don't let friends choose ugly waterline tile. Consult a designer. Absolutely. <laughs> Find a friend. So this is from Arizona Tile, it's from their Concerto line, and I believe it's the color grayish. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a very simple, Two by six? Six or eight? Two I think by six eight. or eight um, tile that we just did a vertical stack bond going all the way around the pool. Super minimal, super modern. Um, pool tile is not something that you need to draw your eye to. Um, Please, no. Especially when you have a pool of this size, we don't need to draw attention to that. So um, I love that it just seamlessly blends with the pool, uh, the pool color and just gives a really serene vibe. And while we don't let this happen often, um, this client actually saw our Go Big or Go Home project, which is also heavily covered on our channel. So if you wanna see that project in the pool there, you can look that up. Um, this is the exact same tile we use for that pool. So in this case, she pled her case and she was like, I need that tile. So we said, okay, you know what, we'll let it happen. So it, it ended up here too. And honestly, it looks kind of different in, in I think it looks the very pools, different. which is a yeah. good um, example of how different things can look. Same materials can look different spaces. A backyard of this size is not complete without an outdoor kitchen. Um, so we've got one that really has it all. We've got a grill back there, a sink, and one of our favorite mm. features that we love to add is a champagne trough. So we can fill it with ice, you can put bottles in it, beer, wine, champagne, rose. Yes. On a warm summer day, oh. it keeps all the drinks cool. And I'm sorry, but there's no refrigerator that can perform like a big old bucket full of ice. <laughs> and that champagne trough just does it. And from like a bang for your buck standpoint, the thing's like 150 bucks and it's just, oh, I love it. It yeah. works every time. Okay, so I'm starting to get a little bit emotional. <laughs> like, is that our, is this a wrap? Are we done? I think so. Like, are we actually done with this project after three years? It's hard to believe that that's, that it's, it's I know, sad. I know. My gosh, thank you guys so much for joining us on our always on vacay house tour and room reveals. Um, it really does, it's like this cathartic feeling because yeah. this house means so much to us. I think we grew so much as a firm and as designers in this project and designing this project. Um, the furnishings turned out incredible. You did such a wonderful job. I'm so proud of you. I know our clients love it so much. Um, we will try to talk them into letting us come back in like a year and show you what it's like then. Um, but I wouldn't <laughs> let us in here again because living here is too great. Um, make sure you like and comment and subscribe. Talk to us. We will try to link everything we can in the description, but we will always respond to your comments. Um, truly, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Thank you.